Hi everybody, this is Yelly from Lisa Revelle Stickers and today I want to show you my planner lineup uh, for for yeah for the rest of the year. Um, this is kind of a fluid thing, it changes every now and then and with the new release I bought a couple of compact verticals so let me show you what I have planned and it doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to do it all but um, this is what I would like to do and there are some that I will be doing for sure I'll let you know which ones they are and uh, some that I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to do them all but I will every now and then whenever I get a chance okay so I have decided to continue using my hourly for my weekly planner because um, I like the amount of space I have in it. I like having the hours. So this is a keeper, guys. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to change it for the compact vertical, but I feel like I want to keep this um, this way. Okay. And um, so this one is staying for sure. I'm going to be using my hourly for my zoomed out weekly planning and i am going to keep on using my daily duo for my detailed day so you know whatever happens on a monday in my hourly is going to be a little bit more zoomed out a lot more zoomed in each day of the week and and i like it that way and that's working really well for me so that's something that's going to continue for sure so now let's go with the things that i'm not a hundred percent sure that are gonna happen, but that I'm almost sure that I'm gonna make them happen. So I really like having the weekly view here for my A5 uh, compact vertical. I'm having a lot of fun setting this up. I hope I'm not boring you guys because it's very similar to the hourly one. I'm gonna continue doing these videos. I'm gonna continue using this setup and I'm gonna continue using the coil planner uh, for that. So I'm gonna continue using this one. I might revisit this end of July, see how things are going, but for now, um, this one is also staying. And then my other compact vertical is uh, my agenda. And for my agenda, what I did was I added, like over here before the July, I added some note pages and I'm using my sticker kits to kind of mock up the compact vertical setup. And this is going to be my self-care planner. In my self-care planner, I am going to uh, track my glucose after each meal. I'm gonna track my mood, my energy levels, and any type of symptoms that I'm feeling. And hopefully it'll be blank and I'm not feeling anything. And then the things that I'm going to be really tracking here are my daily Reiki sessions, if I'm doing low carb eating, intermittent fasting, my medicine, my electrolytes, and my exercise because it is all about self-care. And I am super excited to be working with this one. And I can't wait until I can start using the true um, format, which is going to start on the week of uh, June 27th. So once I migrate into this one, it's gonna be super fun. And uh, I'm gonna to have to see how these are gonna work up here. I don't know if I'm gonna be using leftover kits to use uh, some washi from those to plan this, or if I'm gonna be using Erin Condor and washi for this. I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna work with it, but for now, since I am doing mock-ups, I do for sure need kits. Um, so right now for the mock-ups, let me just go back to this page. I'm definitely uh, gonna be using kits for right now. I will, however, still continue to use my kits for the weekly planning of my um, of my to-dos. So that, that's still gonna happen, okay? Now, the next one is something that might just be temporary. I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing it past the 30 days. And this is just a notebook. And I started the journaling challenge with Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And I'm going to be filling this in and setting up the weeks with you guys. We'll see if this is something that interests you or not. And I have to see if it's something that I wanna keep on doing or not as well, okay? The other thing I would love to do, but I don't know, I feel like it's just too much. So I, I'm not sure 
if I'll be able to do it um, this way is use my uh, productivity notebook as a meal planning notebook. So what I was thinking is using leftover stickers, I will grab a uh, vertical header, right? And I will do Monday, Tuesday, I will do each day of the week, but then I'll use uh, leftover washi from some of my kits and I will use this as the grocery list. And then on the left side of the page, I'll use this for meal ideas. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna bring them here and for days that I think I'm gonna be cooking. So this is kind of going to be uh, a little messy board over here. So it's gonna look a little bit like a planner day with some ideas. So I'll put some boxes here with some meal ideas and things that I um, remember. And then I'll kind of rate whichever ones I feel like I did, if they're hard to cook, if they're not. And then on the right side, I'll keep my grocery list and see how that goes because maybe I'll have to write the meals here and the grocery list here, I don't know. I have to start playing with it to see how it's gonna work. And I'm. it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be filming videos about all of these each week. I might just have to alternate, film some here and there, not necessarily all of them. So you guys are gonna be the ones telling me which ones you want to see. And last but not least, I don't have it here, so let me just go grab it really fast. So I was saying, last but not least, is my memory planner. I, I do have a whole bunch of memory planning weeks that I'd like to add, especially because this is a year that we bought the house and there's a lot of fun projects that I love to document in a memory planner. And my memory planner uh, does run, my vertical planner does run to this until December. So, you know, why not make good use of it? I don't think I will be buying another vertical after this one. So, um, yeah, I might try and see if I can do memory planning in the compact vertical. I don't know. I'll have to kind of figure out things as they go. So, uh, but for now, I do want to continue doing some memory planning. This is just more like fun and hobby. So, um, even though it's work related too, because I filmed the videos for you guys and I'm basically also doing this to provide content for you. Uh, but it's not like the primary thing that I'm doing. So this is one of those that I'm not sure is going to really happen. I would love for it to happen, but I, I don't know. It might not happen. I have no idea, but I'll try. So again, vertical memory planning, a productivity notebook for meal planning, and um, yeah, well, meal planning, that's it, and grocery tracking and all that. My journal for my journaling challenge, I'm always journaling, so even if it's not this journaling challenge, I do have some personal journaling things that I write. I don't film those, but um, journaling is always part of uh, my um, my rotation and then my agenda is that I have to take this out of here this is just going to get all messed up so let me just put it in here in the meantime and then again my agenda which is going to be the self-care uh, planner my compact vertical for my weekly i don't know if this one is going to morph into a memory planner eventually at some point i still have no idea but i like it a lot for my weekly and it's very portable so i feel i can take it with me and it's not too much bulk it has the highlights the most important stuff so this is why i'm going to continue doing it even if it seems like a duplicate thing to do uh from my hourly which i do plan on continue using as well as my daily duo which I showed you already so I still have the old version of the daily duo that goes till December I still have um, I bought a new version of the hourly because mine ends in um, July does it end oh August so mine ends in August so start coming September I'll start a new hourly from the new collection uh, coming January, I'll start a new daily duo from the new collection. However, every now and then I will use these note pages that we have in the end of the month 
at the end. Well, we don't have it in this one. Of course we don't. Because when I say I'm going to use it, we stop seeing them come up. But I will be doing a weekly view here and there just to kind of show you guys how I can use my converter to make my kit go further. And, um, and again, you saw my compact verticals and all that. So let me know what planners in the comments below, what planners are you going to be using and which ones are you most excited about starting right now? I mean, what are you using right now? What are you planning on using? Which ones did you buy? Are you going to change once, uh, the time comes to switch planners? Let me know. I want to know everything. Bye guys. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your week.